Hello and welcome to this Excel Tips video. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video, I am going to show you how to get the sum of colored cells in Excel. So here I have these names and I have their sales values and I have some cells that are colored in yellow and some cells that are colored in orange. And I want to quickly get the sum of these yellow colored and orange colored cells. So let me show you how to do this using three different methods. The fastest way to get the sum of colored cells would be by using the subtotal formula. So here I have this column with these colored cells. Here at the bottom, I'm going to use the subtotal formula and the subtotal formula takes two arguments. The first one is a number that would tell the subtotal formula what kind of calculation it needs to do. So in this case, if I type nine, then it tells the formula that I need to get the sum. And you can see all these calculations this formula can do. It can get the average, the count, the maximum, minimum product and everything. And in this case, because I want the sum of these cells, I'm going to use the number nine. And then the second argument would be the range on which I want to perform that calculation, which would be these cells here. Now, when I close the bracket and hit enter, it gives me the sum of all these cells. Now, if you're thinking why I used the subtotal formula and not the regular sum formula, the reason is that with subtotal formula, if I filter this data and I only show the yellow colored cells or only show the orange colored cells, then this formula is going to update and only give me the sum of those visible cells. So in this case, let me apply the filter, select any cell in this data set, go to the data tab and here click on filter. So this applies the filter in the header cells. Now I'm going to click on this filter icon in the sales column. Then I'm going to go to filter by color and then let's filter by yellow color. And when I do that, you'll see that this value instantly updates and it only gives me the sum of these yellow colored cells. Similarly, if I come here and I filter by orange color, then this formula again updates and only give me the sum of orange colored cells. Now let me show you how to get the sum of colored cells in Excel using a simple formula. Now there is no inbuilt Excel formula that can do this for us, but what we can do is use a very simple VBA code and create our own function. And then we can use that custom function anywhere in the worksheet or in the workbook and get the sum of colored cells. Now the subtotal method that I covered earlier works fine, but it is not an elegant solution because you will have to use that below the column that has the colored cells and you will have to filter the data set. This may not be possible for everyone. So in that case, you can use the VBA custom function method. Now the VBA code that we are going to use is this one here, and I am going to have this code in the description of this video so you can copy it from there. Now the first thing I'm going to do is open the VB editor where we are going to copy and paste the code. So I'm going to go to the developer tab here and click on visual basic. Now if you do not see the developer tab here, right click on any of these options in the ribbon, go to the customize the ribbon option and in the Excel options dialog box, make sure that this developer option is checked and then click OK. So that would make sure that you have the developer tab and then click on visual basic icon. And when you do that, it opens the VB editor backend. And here is where we are going to insert a module and then paste our code. So what you see here in the backend is on the left, you see this option, this pane, this is called project explorer. And this would list all the open workbooks that you have. As of now, I only have one Excel workbook open, which is sum by color.xlsx. And within that workbook, it shows me all the worksheets. Now, if you have multiple workbooks open, you would see these here, but you need to make sure that you select any one object in the workbook where you want to create the VBA function. If you do not see this part here, you can simply go to the view tab and then click on project explorer or use the keyboard shortcut control R. So this would become visible. Now to insert a module and a module is something where we are going to copy paste the code. So I'm going to go to the insert option here and then click on module. And when I do that, it inserts this module in this workbook itself. And here I'm going to paste the code. So this is a module. This is the code window for that module. And I'm going to paste the code that I copied. Now, this is a really simple VBA code. It creates a function with the name sum by color. And this function is going to take two arguments. The first one is the sum range, which is the range of cells that have the colored cells. So let me show you which one it would be. So let me minimize this. So in this case, 
So in this case, the sum range would be these cells here that have the colored cells. And the second argument is sum color. This is the color index number, which would tell the function which color to add. So if I want to add only orange colored cells, then this would be the argument that would pick up the color index value from the orange colored cells. So it would know that it only needs to add orange colored cells. Then this formula uses a simple for or next loop and checks whether the cell has the same color as I have specified in the second argument. So let's say I want to only add yellow colored cells, then it is going to go through all these cells and check whether the color is yellow or not. If the color is yellow, it is going to get added. If it is not, then it is not going to get added. So this is the function that I have. Now I can come here in the workbook and I can use the function and you can see when I type sum by, it is going to show me this function. Now before I use this function, I need to do one more thing. I'm going to copy this color and put it somewhere where I want to use the function. So I'm going to let's say copy this cell, right click, then copy come here in cell D2, right click and simply paste the formatting. So it does not paste the value. It only pastes the formatting. And let's also do this for yellow colored cell. Now I have these two cells with the colors in it and I'm going to use the formula within these cells. So it is going to take this range as the first argument and the color value would be picked up from these cells itself. So orange color value would be picked up from D2 and yellow colored value would be picked from D3. So the formula here is sum by color. This is the first argument, which is the range that have all the values. And for the color index, I'm going to simply type D2 or you can select the cell. In this case, I'm not able to select it because the formula is there. So I manually typed D2. And now when I hit enter, it gives me the sum of only orange colored cells. So what it does is it picks up the color from this cell itself, goes through these range of cells and checks whether the color is same or not. And if it is same, then it adds it. If it is not, then it does not add it. And the same way we can use it for yellow colored cells. So sum by color, then I select all these cells and then the value is from cell D3 and it gives me the sum of only yellow colored cells. Now this function works great, but one thing you need to know about it, it is that there are cases where the function may not automatically update. So for example, if I come here and I manually color this, then this formula may not update. So what you can do is hit the F9 key and then it would force to refresh the formula and the values would update. Another thing you need to know is that because we have used a macro in this file, when you're saving this file, you need to save it as a macro enabled file. As of now, it is a .xlsx file, but when you save it, you save it as a .xlsm file. This option comes when you're saving the file. And finally, if this is something that you need to do quite often, so add these cells based on their color. If this is something you need to do quite often, then it is recommended that you save this code in your personal macro workbook. And I have a separate video on how personal macro workbook works and how you can save codes in it. So I would have a link to it in the description. So you can save this VBA code in your personal macro workbook so that it becomes available in all your Excel files, whether be it a .xlsx file or a .xlsm file, any file that you open on your system, you will be able to use this formula sum by color in that file. So if you're comfortable using VBA, this is the best way to add all those cells with a specific color in it with a custom function. And the final method that I want to show you to get the sum of colored cells is by using get.cell function. Get.cell is an old Excel function that does not work in the worksheets anymore, but it still works in named ranges. So what we are going to do is using this function, we are going to extract the color numbers in a separate column. So I'm going to extract numbers and that number is going to represent the color in the cell. So orange would have a specific number attached to it and yellow would have a specific color number. And once we have those color numbers, we can then use a simple sum if formula to get the sum of colored cells. So here, let me show you how it works. I'm first going to select cell C2. Then I'm going to click on the formulas tab here and then click on name manager. This opens this name manager dialog box. And here I'm going to click on new and then create a name range. So here, let me give a name to the name range, which would be some color. You can give any name you want. And here I'm going to refer to a formula and that formula is going to be get.cell. Now get.cell formula takes two arguments. The first one is a number that tells the formula what kind of information it needs to extract. In our case, it would be 38, which tells this formula to extract the color value of the cell to which it refers to. And then the second argument would be B2 so that it refers to cell B2 
in cell so while you were using it in cell c2 it would refer to cell b2 now when i click ok this named range has been created i can come to cell c2 and then enter some color and hit enter and when i do that it refers to the cell on the left of it and gives me a value which represents the color in the cell so in this case the color would be orange if i drag this down for this entire column you can see that orange color has the number 40 yellow color has the number six and a cell that does not have any color has zero now i have this and i can use this in a simple sum if formula to get the sum of all the colored cells so let me first give this a uh, header and here let me also copy the formatting so i would copy this come here and paste only the formatting similarly copy this come to the cell right click and only paste the formatting now here i'm going to use the formula which would be a simple sum if formula where this is my criteria range let me press f4 to lock this and then the criteria would be the number that represents that color in this case i know that orange is 40 so i would enter 40 here and the sum range would be this and when i close the bracket and hit enter it gives me the sum of all the orange colored cells similarly i can use another sum if formula this becomes my criteria range my criteria would be six which represents yellow color and then this would be my sum range and now when i hit enter it gives me the sum of only yellow colored cells so this is a non-vba method that you can use to get the sum of colored cells in excel it's not as elegant as the VBA method according to me, but it would still work. One thing you need to know about this method is that in case you come here and you change these colors, so let's say you remove the color, you add more colors to more cells, this formula would not automatically update. It's not as dynamic as worksheet formulas are. So in that case, you can come to this formula, double click on, it, on the cell or press F2 to get into the edit mode and hit enter again. So the formula would recalculate and you will get the right result. So these are three different methods that you can use to get the sum of colored cells in Excel. I hope you found this video useful. Also, if you're liking these videos, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and click on the bell icon so that you never miss out on any new Excel tips video I come up with. Thank you and have a nice day.